Hello, my name is Carol from Circus Imagination and this is a hula hoop tutorial for beginners. If you want to learn how to hula hoop and have no idea where to start, this is the tutorial for you. First of all, you must get a hula hoop and a good idea of how big your hula hoop must be is place it on the ground in front of you and it must be as tall as your rib cage or your belly button. That's the perfect height for adults or kids, this measurement will work. So make sure you have a hula hoop that's your size and let's get ready to start. Uh, first thing, let's put the hula hoop around our waist. Let it touch the back of our waist like this and I want you to give it a really heavy and level spin and don't worry about keeping it up right now. We just want to see how much the hula hoop will stay by itself without us moving. So give it a good spin. And look at that, that was about six or seven spins and I didn't do anything. Now, let's learn what is the movement you need to make to keep this hoop up. Hold the hula hoop on your side like this, put one leg slightly in front of the other, and we're going to do a bounce movement. The hula hoop, when it's on the air, it's going to hit the front of your waist and the back of your waist. So we're going to work on this movement, which is back and forth. Just bounce back and forth, keeping your knees soft, just like this, and that is the movement that you need to do to keep your hula hoop up. This is the easiest way to keep your hoop up, which is front and back. You can also do it side to side, just like this, which we can practice a little right now, but we'll only get to this one later. So back to front and back. When you feel comfortable, put the hula hoop against your back and give it a good spin. And now do the movement. See, the hula hoop is going to hit on your stomach right here and on your back. And if you keep doing the back and forth movement with your foot slightly off the ground so you can have some bounce on your knees, you can keep the hula hoop up. So let's just practice doing this for a while until you feel really comfortable with it. Remember to keep your arms up and out of the way. There are three ways you can pick up your hula hoop if it starts falling. Bend your knees, pick it back up, your hula hoop starts to fall. Spin in the direction your hoop's spinning, your hula hoop starts to fall. Move really fast and it will come back up. Three ways to save your hoop. When you feel comfortable, hula hooping, standing still. On the front and back stance, which is the one we are doing right now, you can try the side to side. Keep your legs in the same line and just change the movement of your body. So instead of going back and forth, now I'm going side to side. And the hula hoop, instead of hitting the front and back of my stomach, is now hitting my sides. And if I move my leg back, one step back, one step forward, and I just change the movement. Look at that, the hula hoop's going front and back again. So practice those two stances, and when you feel really comfortable with them, we can have our second hula hoop class. See you again next time.